Hey everybody, we have a big update on what happened to Wig Snatcher Guy. This is the dude who was uh, heavily inebriated on the streets of, I think it was, yeah, New York City. Uh, and he decided to snatch the wig off of this uh, aspiring singer's head, the woman recording this video. And I have to admit, I didn't expect this story to be the one in the last uh, Public Freakouts Unleashed episode that made the national news stage uh, cable circuit and all that, but it did. Very interesting. Um, there were some very serious consequences for this young man when he was found. And we'll get into what all happened here and what happened to him after his company learned about what he had done um, as soon as we play the video itself, which we will do now. Sir, for what reason? For what reason? For what reason did you take my wig off? Because what what made you think that that was the good thing to do? No, what made you think that that was the good thing to do? Please, please, please. For what? For what? Why did you do that? What makes you think that that's okay? Is that funny? Is that funny? You don't even know me. No. Are you, do you hit women or something? Why did you take my wig off and keep walking? For what, sir? Why? Why? Just say it. Why did you take my wig off and just walk away? Please. Because what? Why? Please, 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 please. Nah, have a nice one. Have a nice day. You, you're nice as him. He needs somebody to be his ass. I'm dead ass. You'll notice that even his friends seem mortified by what he's doing and keep telling him to stop and to apologize. So the woman who recorded this video and whose wig was snatched off her head by this uh, drunk clown in the video, her name is Lizzie Ashley and she's a aspiring or maybe I should say small time musician uh, who posted this video to TikTok where it subsequently got hundreds of thousands of views. And this guy's actions caught in this video would be bad enough on their own, would warrant condemnation on their own without even knowing what we come to find out later, which is that when he snagged this wig off of her head, he was actually causing her a lot of pain because of the way that the wig is worked into her hair. Let's take a listen. I just got home, I'm safe. But look at this, if you pull the wig, it looks like it's gonna come off, right? And then it gets stuck because it has combs in it. So he ended up pulling my hair in order to officially take it off. You have to then yank down and then try your best. It's still not coming off. He dead pulled my whole wig off. Like, so seeing her show and explain just how difficult it is to get this wig off without significant force and back and forth pulling, it's easy to imagine that this guy was really going to town on her wig to try and get it off of her head. It must have been a pretty aggressive effort on his part to actually get this thing off and walk away with it, which probably contributed to just how upset she was about this incident. It probably hurt quite a bit. And as it turns out, within 12 hours of this video being posted, they found this guy. TikTok tracked this guy down and even contacted his employer. Bro, y'all found him in less than 12 hours. It's st TikTok still amazes me, bro. So thank you to everyone who found him and I guess reported him to his company because it was like, two, I called the police. All of this happened today, by the way. 1 a.m. it happened by 12 o'clock y'all in the next day well no same day y'all gave me his info around like three o'clock i called the police and i put in a report um i went to the doctor I'm like why you go to the doctor the police said go to the doctor they was like check everything the doctor said my neck area is very tense as if like a traumatic event not like a car accident but when you have anything you know it was a shock and he said it's very tense and i need muscle relaxer so he gave me muscle relaxer so i have that that's i don't know what to do from here that i went got a report went to the doctor i don't know what's next internet investigators almost immediately identified this young man as anthony orlick and he apparently was a litigator for a law firm in new york called leader birkin kolau and silverstein llp 
And then those same internet sleuths started to demand that the company let Anthony go or otherwise hold him accountable for the behavior that he displayed in this video. And sure enough, just like clockwork, uh, the company's LinkedIn profile updated everyone on the situation very shortly after this pressure campaign began, saying, We take seriously any inappropriate behavior by any employee, whether inside or outside the workplace. Their associate, this associate, is no longer with the firm. So we have confirmation that Anthony Orlick has been let go. He has been fired over this incident. But as it turns out, that's not where Anthony's legal troubles ended because uh, the woman who was attacked by Anthony decided that this was worth filing a police report with the NYPD, and that is precisely what she did. According to TMZ, who claims to have sources within the NYPD that confirmed this, a police report was in fact filed by Ashley against Anthony Orlick for the events of that night, or I guess 1 a.m. it was the morning. But Anthony now faces not only being fired from his job and probably having quite a hard time getting another attorney spot anywhere in New York or perhaps even the country, um, when they look his name up, they're going to see all of this, obviously. Uh, but on top of that, he now may face charges uh, for this assault on this woman and ripping her wig off, which I'm sure in the moment he just thought was the funniest prank. But as is so often true, when you act like a clown, the world will treat you like one. And people are certainly laughing at him now. Okay, so police report and firing aside, a lot of people on TikTok who sympathized with what happened to Ashley also offered her advice on what to do to really get this guy back for this whole thing. And she posted this short video um, where she explains that she actually is going to take that advice and take action, as she says. Once again, thank you, everyone. Because I know people are writing like, yo, I did this, I did that, I did this. Yo, I appreciate y'all. Like, I did not go to waste. I did every single thing that certain people told me to do. I can't go into too much detail. But Tuesday, I will take action. Today's a holiday. So have a good day, guys. Peace, peace. Thank y'all again. Like, thank you. The very next day after she posted the video we just watched, she put a screenshot up on her TikTok that said, Transparency. I am, I am unable to say more at the moment as I move forward legally. I appreciate everyone who identified, called, and emailed. Once I receive an update, I can share, trust, and believe. I will. Thank you again. I am currently being educated realistically on next steps. This was six days ago. We have yet to hear anything about any charges or any actions taken against him. But again, these things take time. But even the consequences we've seen so far are pretty significant and no laughing matter. Well, they are for us, but they're not a laughing matter for him, that's for sure. This will have significant and far-reaching effects on his uh, ability to make money, his future career, and whatnot, even if he doesn't get charged. Uh, and there's a very high likelihood, I would say, this is just my estimation, that he does face charges for this because it sounds like he totally ripped this wig off this woman's head and from what Ashley says in her own videos, she went and got uh, a doctor's appointment where the doctor even prescribed her muscle relaxer medication and he did so because he had evaluated her neck and found that it had been distressed by this whole incident. So she actually has like a professional opinion to point to and say, no, this guy actually hurt me when he did all this. I want to leave you finally with the interview that Ashley gave to PIX11 a few days after this incident had gone viral, uh, I found it very interesting. What makes you think that that's okay? The New York native was walking through Herald Square early Monday morning when... For what reason did you take my wig off? Ashley grabbed her phone and confronted the man she says suddenly ripped her go-to green wig clean off her scalp. And this man just decides as I'm walking past him to take my hair off. He's like pulls it and my neck goes back and then I turn around and I'm like, whoa, like, what are y'all doing? It happened after a night out and the harrowing aftermath has since been viewed millions of times, sparking outrage from the internet. He laughed in my face. Social media sleuths who shared her video uncovered the man's apparent identity as Anthony Orlick, a New York City attorney. That he's a lawyer. How are you out here defending people and your judgment is that you can do this in public. How can you defend other people if you're, if you're doing this in public? Soon after, Orlick's former Manhattan law firm took action, terminating him. 
releasing a statement online saying, we take seriously any inappropriate behavior by any employee, whether inside or outside the workplace. This associate is no longer with the firm. The New York bar lists Orlick as an attorney since 2017 with no record of discipline and having graduated from Fordham Law. Orlick did not respond to repeated attempts by us for comment. The NYPD told Pix11 News it's still investigating the alleged assault on the 29-year-old woman who wants an apology and to move past this. We got to make sure that men know you, you shouldn't be walking down the streets of New York or anywhere attacking women in any kind of way, whether it be her hair, whether it be anything. Mind your business. The NYPD has not made an arrest in this case, and it's unclear if they've even made contact with Orlick to interview him at this point. The New York courts told me that they could not say whether a complaint had been filed with its grievance committee. That's the latest live here from Herald Square tonight. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. Huh. We'll all provide you with any updates as we get them, of course, and uh, stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.